Shalom, shalom. I need Yehuda Yorra. Uh, before I give the uh, scriptures of the day, uh, propolybook.com, whether you're pro-poly or anti-poly, this book is for you, The Unwritten Rules of Polygyny. Definitely get this book. It's a must get. All right. So we're going to get uh, scripture today. I make it two. All right. Uh, this will not be in the English language. It will be in the uh, Hebrew language. Um, so we have Seferi Habarit Hakadosh. Um, this is what you know as the books of the New Testament or the New Covenant. I'm going to get my No. Ah, I'm going to get. We'll go here first. Okay, so we have Igor Rephalos Hashaliach El Haef Siim Perech Hey. So Igor is a letter, Palos is Paul, Hashaliach, the apostle, or the sent, one who sent, a messenger, if you will. El meaning to, Ha, the, Efsiim, the Ephesians. Perech, chapter, Hey is the fifth letter in Hebrew, numerical value of five. So this is the letter. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the epistle or the letter of Paul, the apostle or the sent or the messenger, letting us know who he was sent to, the uh, Ephesus or the Ephesians. Um, and this is chapter five. So I'll start in verse 22. All right, let's see. So we have Hanashim Ikanana Levalechen Chamo Adoneno. So we have the wise. Yeah, the wise, Ikanana, this here is the word for reflectively to obey. All right. Um, this here is to surrender. This means you are not putting up any fight whatsoever. You are surrendering. This is to yield to someone's advice and control. You're submitting to one's control. You are letting them take over. They're taking full control. You are surrendering. All right. When you are surrendering, there's no way to put up a fight. Think about that. So women, if you have a husband and you are to surrender to him, then how do you put up a fight? That's dealing with arguing, back talk, lip, pouting, reverse psychology, anger, malice, physical abuse, verbal abuse. Any of those things, you are surrendering. That means you have no fight left. You are literally allowing him to take control. But let's finish, though. Let's go back. It says, Hanashim Hikanana Levalechen. Now, this word here has the root word Baal, or Baal. Baal is not always a, uh, how can I put this, a, um, call him a different deity. Baal or Baal is a neutral term. So this here, Levalechen is talking your owners. This is one who's the master. He's the owner. The owner, the controller. He is the one that is supreme and in authority from the Hebraic aspect. All right. So why submit to your owners? Kamo, kamo, meaning like as or just like or the same as or just as you would. The Adonenu, our master our lord so the same way you would submit to our lord it's the same way you're supposed to submit to your husband it's no different you wouldn't back talk your lord which is the most high well i'm pushing well we're taking your husband but you you wouldn't disrespect the lord right so it's saying wise surrender to your owners just as you would our master, our Lord, our controller. You give him the same respect. You treat him the same. So sisters, ask yourself, if, are you treating your husband the same? If the answer is no, then you are not ikanana. You're not surrendering. You're not doing that. So it says, next line, it says, let me highlight it all first right here. Boom. It says, Ki haish hu rosh haisha kaasher hamashiach hu rosh ha uh ah tongue twister ha eda the hu moshiach shel hagu. So for the husband is the rosh head of who haisha the wife kaasher the same as a just like 
Hamashiach, the Messiah, is the Rosh, the head, the top. So you see that? The same way your husband is the head of the wife, He's the head of the wife the same exact way as the Messiah is the head of the congregation or what you know as the church, Ha'ida, the congregation. But who and he is, Moshiach, the what? Has the root word, sure, or Hawashai, or what you know as Hosea, the redeemed, the save. He is the savior, the redeemer of what? Of Shel Ha, the goof, body, or the flesh. Some would say that, but this is more renderly body versus basar, which is flesh or body as well. So it's the same thing, though. So it says, for the husband is the head of the wife. Let me go back and highlight. So for the husband is the head of the wife, just like the Messiah is the head of the congregation. And he's the protector or the savior or the redeemer or the redemption of the body. Because you and your husband, of course, is one body. You're one unit. And it's the same the same way the position that your husband plays in your and you all's body, it's the same exact way that he, the Messiah, is with us. So we're all one body with the Messiah, or we're all one flesh with the Messiah, and the Messiah is the head of the body, the same exact way that your husband is the head of you all's body. Okay. So we have Avalka Asher, um, Tikana. Oh, let me highlight all of that first. Uh, Le Mashiach, Af Kain, Hanashim, Levalechen, Lechal, Devar. So it lets us know, um, but is, or even so, Tikana, Haeda. So just as the church would be in submission. All right. So, but just as the church will be in submission, then we have here the Mashiach of Cain. So, um, even so, the Mashiach Hanashim Levalechen Lachal Devar. So, just as we are in submission, um. I mean, um, just as we are submitting to Christ, or just as the congregation is in submission to Christ, it says the wise, look at this, you are to submit to your owners in all things, in all things, of all ka'ashir tikana. Ha'eda, the Mashiach. So, look at that. Just as we are to submit to the Messiah, all right, or just, when I say we, meaning the congregation, Ha'eda, even so, the wise to their owners, their controllers, their masters, Look at this. For all things or in everything. Call divine in everything. So the same way you would treat the Messiah, the same way, no different, the same way you would treat your master, the Lord, it's the same way you would treat your master your owner, or your husband. There is no difference. So sisters, ask yourself, are you treating him the same as you would treat HaMashiach, the Messiah? If the answer is no, then you are not in line with, the, with your divine role and your divine purpose with our master. It is no difference. Sometimes I'll, I'll ask this, and let me ask you a question. If you seen Christ, the Messiah, what would you do? I would bow. You would bow? Yeah, I would bow. Or would you do that with your husband? No, why not? He's not the Messiah. What well, did you know? It's the same way you submit to your owners, the same way you um, um, same way you submit to the Messiah. 
you submit to your owner. Now, am I saying go bow to your, um, your husband? No, I'm not. I'll let you be the judge of that. But what I am saying is this. The same treatment you give the master is the same treatment you give your master. No different. You choose whichever master you want to go with. So, um, let me show you uh, something real quick. Pull it up. Um, okay, here we go. Um, oh wait, let me show my. I thought I was sharing my screen. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, here we go. Boom. Let's see what he told his daughter. Psalms forty-five. That's 10. It says, hearken, meaning listen, O daughter, and consider and incline your ear, meaning listen up. Forget us all, forget also your own people in your father's house. Forget your family. Forget my family. Forget your family. That's what he's saying. So shall the king greatly desire your beauty. Look at this. It says, For he is your Lord. Who? Talking about your husband. He is your Lord and worship him. That's what he said. He is your Lord and worship him. Let's click on that word for Lord. Verse 11, Lord, I don't, right? Look at this, meaning to rule, sovereign. That is what? He's the controller. Lord, master, owner. Mm, then it says, worship him, shaka, right? Look at this, to press, to prostrate. Look at this, reflectively in homage to royalty of God. Bow self down, crouch, fall down, humbly beseech. Look at that. Reverend, don't don't what in Ephesians 5 say to reverence your husband, stoop worship. Huh? Look at that. Let's go to uh first Peter real quick, chapter 3, verse 6. It says, I'm starting five. For after this man in the old time, the holy women also trust in the most high, adorn themselves or decorate themselves, being in subjection. That means submit. Look at this, guys. Look at what it means to be obedient. In other words, reflectively to obey, as I was telling you earlier. Being in subjection to their own husbands, even as a just like Sarah obeyed or submitted, same thing, listened, obeyed. She obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, Kyrios. Supremacy, supreme in authority. It's used as a noun as in control. He's trying to control me. She called him Lord as daughter as you are. But look, look at the Hebrew New Testament right here. She called him Lord. Okay. Ah, here we go. Adon. Lord. That's the same word we just looked at earlier. Go back and rewind this if you need to. Adon. Master. Master. So, it's the same way. Look at Ephesians 5 real quick. Ephesians 5. And I touched base on this already. Uh, Ephesians 5 right here. Um, therefore, if the church or the congregation is subject or in submission, look at this, to obey, same thing, guys, to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands. It says what? Everything, all things, all things. But going back, why? Submit yourselves unto your own husbands, just as you would the Lord, as, meaning like as, unto, meaning to the Lord. Same way, submit. Oh, oh let me go back. Let's go off the screen. Wait, wait a minute. For some reason. Didn't let fall. Hold on one second. Ah, well, we won't worry about it. But it's the same exact way. All right. Same exact way. But let me go back here. All right. Um, I'll go to uh, and I've done a lesson on this. Um, if anybody wants the lesson, just ask me. I'll send it to them. Um, we'll go here. So we have how we serve Hakidosha, the root words for Sara, which is a uh, gospel news, the good news, the tidings. So how we serve Hakidosha, so the good news, I'm sorry, the holy news or the holy gospel, out P according to the P or mouth of who? Lucas, Luke, Peret, chapter five, six. So I'm going to say why. We'll go to 46. All right, because remember, it's the same way, guys. The same way you would treat the Lord is the same way you treat your Lord, your master, your controller, which is the Messiah. So we have, Adonai, 
I don't need. Then we have the word the uh, uh the ah tongue twister, the ain the ain him the ain him sorry, osim et asher ani omir. All right. So we have balama ze atim korim li. And why do you call me? I don't need. I don't need my lord or my lord or my master. My master. We just saw earlier it was a controller, master, lord, sovereign, supreme. We saw that. This is the word you had saw. Adon. It just had a final uh, mem. Uh, so this letter looks slightly different. Anybody who know about final letters, all right? It looks like this. That right there. The in and not. All right, so there's here the yo possession, which means my. So my lord, my lord, or my master, my master. The ain him osim et. So and do not. We have here. Uh, in uh, here we go. Asher ani, which I omer say. So why are you calling me my lord, my lord? My master, my master, and you're not even doing the things in which I say. I mean, you're not even obeying me. So, sisters, why would you call your husband Lord or Master? That's my Lord, it's my master, my king. But you're not even doing the things in which he say. So it's the same exact way. Don't even call Christ your Lord if you're not even calling your husband. I mean, you don't even call Christ your Lord if you're not doing what he say. Don't even call your husband Lord or even husband. And you're not doing what he say. Husband, what, I can call him husband. Well, let's see about that. Let's go here. Hold on. Wait one second. Okay. Blue letter Bible. Um, Proverbs 31. You sisters love the virtuous husband, right? Says who can find a virtuous woman for her price or her value is what far above rubies. The heart of her what husband do it for safely trust in her, so that he should have no need of spoil, no lack of gain. She's going to make sure he never becomes poor. So let's click on that real quick. It says patach ba lev bala yishalau lo ye sar. This word bala, the feminine way of saying baal, a bale. Look at this right here. Let's click on it. Ba Strong's H eleven sixty seven. Baal. Mm -hmm. Baal. 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 So check it. Let's click on that real quick. Clicking on it. Master. Look at this. Owner. Husband. Lord. Owner. Look at that. Rulers. So even when you say the word husband, you are saying Lord owner master controller so why are you saying that's my husband why call me husband husband or my husband my husband my lord my lord and you not even doing as your love your lord your husband your owner says sisters I'm telling you this to save your life. To save your life. Because you're sinning against your husband, your Lord, your owner, your husband. You are sinning against the Lord. The Lord. Let's go here. Let's go here. Check this out. Fine. Oh, man, my bad. I ain't sharing my screen. Hold on. You can even go to Google. Right. Let's go there real quick. I put define husband. First thing it says, a married man considered in relation to a spouse, of course, spouse, partner, man, mate, consort, groom, bridegroom, right? Like the husband is, uh, you, you learn about Christ being the bridegroom in Matthew 25. Um, John chapter 15, when he says, I am the true vine and my father is the husband. He's the manager, the one who controls, like a farmer. Check it. Voice. Look at this. Occupier and tiller of the soil, like a farmer, guys. That's bony. Look at this. He considered to be what? The master of a house, male head of a household. Look at this. The manager, as I was just telling you, steward. Look at look, look at this. The husband is what? The master. So when you are calling him your husband, 
If you're calling him your Lord, you're calling him the master, the owner, but all or ish in Hebrew. Well, that's my king. Well, king is Melech, which just means one who reigns. One who reigns. So look, check it. But sisters, you learn this in Genesis. You learn this in Genesis. Genesis 3. I'll go slow for you guys. Genesis 3, 16. El Isha Omer Harav. So he says, to the woman, he said, greatly, orba, all right, orba, I will multiply. Then we have here, etz vonech, your, what you would call depression <laughs> or your sorrow. Be, meaning, and heronech, and your conception, be ezer. And sorrow, or what you know in sadness, well, some would say depression today, till D, meaning you would um you shall spring forth or bring forth, all right, bring out Bani, children or sons. The L meaning uh N and then the word L meaning two. Ish hold on, I'm out of the way. Okay. Ishaykh. This is the word for husband, because the root word is ish, your husband. So now we have tishu katech, meaning in your lust, your wanting, your longing, or your desire, the who, then we have, uh, and he, yim shal bach. Let me know you should have your desire or your longing towards your husband in the sense of you will want to control him. But it says, and he will control you, or he shall rule over you. It has a root word, mashal. That's the root word. So this word here, yimshal, that's the root word, mashal. All right? Mashal. Strong's 8, 49, 10. Mashal. Mashal. Because some will use the patach as ah sound. All right, so let me go here. Is it on here? Your husband, he shall rule. Here we go. Child. Look at this. Rule, ruler, dominion. Ruled over, governor, power. It's going to have power over you to rule, to have dominion, reign. To rule, to have dominion, cause to rule. So he's going to have power over you. Oh, here it is right here. <laughs> hey, have power over you. Have power over you. Look at this. For you sisters to be like, oh, he's my king. All right, so um, uh, here we go. Um, oh wait, one second. Oh, my bad. I'm tripping on one, two, four, eighteen. Here we go. Okay. So we have Umalaki Zedek Melech. All right. So we have the King of Righteousness here. Melech, king. As I told you earlier, it's my king. Right here. Let me scroll down. I know you find it. Melech, a king royal. I need to go further. Mm. King royal. one Malach. Here we go. To become king or queen. Well, we know this is talking about king in this sense. Um, to be made king or queen is one who's royal, of course. Uh, Malach to reign. Look at that. To ascend the throne. Look at that. So when you are saying that this man is your king, you are saying that he is reigning over you. He's ruling over you. When you say he's your husband, it has the word ish or the word baal or baal. And that is saying that he's your owner, your master, your lord, your controller, your sovereign. Literally. Well, he's my lord. Okay, he's your controller. Husbands. Husbands, husbands. It is your job to teach this to your wives, brothers. They need to understand this. And if you are, 
then they need to repent. They need to repent. They need to repent. They definitely do. Um, so let me share my screen again. YouTube.com slash Judah the Shooter. Um, one good video for you, brothers. This video I did here, the mistreatment of sister wives and polygyny. Brothers might want to watch that. Might want to watch that, brothers. Also, um, are Israelite brothers worth marrying? Brothers, watch those videos. All right. Because when you get that down pack, your wives ain't gonna have no choice but to get in order. If they don't, they need to repent. Sisters, you want to know if you're a good woman or not? Brothers, you want to know if your wife a good woman or not? Is she a devil? Watch that video. Daughters of Zion versus Daughters of Satan. No in between. No in between. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Also, um, well, about to say um, the book. The Unwritten Rules of Polygyny. I go into what a good woman is, how to know if you found her, the red flags. Men, same way. So, so you want to know if he a red flag? You want to know if that poly union is a red flag and don't join it? You might not want to. Here we go. All right. So, men and women, let's get it together. I need Yehuda, Israel, Shalom.